What are you doing on Friday night? If you're a Pitt or Rutgers fan, you are watching the game. You have to watch the preview first before you watch the game, in that order. Welcome to you. I'm Lauren Shahadi, Dennis Dodd, our college football columnist, joining us now. Dennis, there's a Big East showdown on Thursday night between Cincinnati and South Florida, but this is an also a, a big conference game here. Yeah, this is huge. Uh, Pittsburgh actually leads the conference with a 2-0 and conference record, despite all the hype about South Florida and Cincinnati. And really the best start that Dave Wonstadt's had there, 5-1, and one, uh, contending for the Big East title. If you remember, way back in July, Pittsburgh was picked by most people to win this league. So, you know, they're, they're pretty much doing what people thought they would, except backwards. Since losing to Cincinnati, Rutgers has really bounced back four in a row. Are they headed in the right direction, Dennis? It would seem so. We, we don't really know, I think, enough about Rutgers yet. They beat Texas Southern in their last game. 42 to nothing. It was a one double A, basically a scrimmage. They didn't show anything because they were getting ready for Pittsburgh. But it, it's all about their freshman quarterback, Tom Savage. He's going to be a star. He's having his, his learning problems, his, his speed bumps along the way as a freshman. Uh, but look for a breakout game from him along the way. This might be it. You mentioned Rutgers quarterback. What about Pittsburgh's quarterback, Bill Stull? 13 touchdowns, only three interceptions. Do you like what you see from him so far? Love it. Love what I've seen so far. He was actually a big question mark before the season because his whole career had been very inconsistent. He shared time. wasn't great when he was in there. But I think with the help of a guy named Jonathan Baldwin, another great tall Pittsburgh receiver, that's all they put out there, 6'5", 225, 27 catches, 532 yards. I guarantee you Rutgers doesn't have anyone big enough that can cover him. Uh, you know, they're going to have to double him, I think, when they go out there. Dennis, this matchup on the road, is it pretty even to you? Absolutely. I, I think because you know, I think on a neutral field, Pittsburgh would be favored uh, and are probably favored in this game. But going to Rutgers, where they have an expanded stadium, a bigger crowd, and they're in the conference race themselves, despite losing that first game to Cincinnati. So this is really an elimination game in the Big East. There's going to be a couple of huge Big East games Thursday and Friday. Friday night, 8 o'clock. Looking forward to it. Thanks for watching the preview brought to you by Tyson Anytizers, the meaty good man snack for Dennis Dodd. I'm Lauren Shahadi. We'll talk to you soon.